Uh, <laughs> it seemed like that August game last year, the one at home when Clint scored twice, was at a very pivotal point of the year for you guys. What significance do you think it had on your guys' ability to kind of keep things moving in the direction to make the run that you did? <sighs> I don't remember it uh, too much. I remember it was at home. We had to win. We were against our rival, so it was uh, we had to win. But uh, honestly, it's uh, it's kind of a similar situation now. It's where uh, we're our home games we have to win uh, it doesn't matter how ugly it's going to be um like i said last game wasn't wasn't the prettiest but uh, they all count the same so uh, portland uh, obviously uh, you know you have a, a little bit of a little edge to it because it's the rivalry so uh, um we're going to be hungry we're going to be up for it and i'm sure they will be as well so it's going to be a big game because of the emotions involved do you think rivalry games do have the capabilities to, to be turning points in a way that maybe the weekend and week out grind maybe isn't um, I'd say they shouldn't, but yes, uh, they probably do. Um, you know, obviously, you want you want to take every opportunity you have to to turn the ship around if it's heading the, ro the wrong direction, regardless of if you're playing an uh, a rival or a regular opponent. But uh, it's just natural for you to, I think, uh, um, you know, for 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 the teams to get a bit even a bit more feisty uh, and want to stick it to to to, to your rival. I'm sure they're excited because we've won last year. Just as uh, I've, I've mentioned before, one day won the year before, and uh, um, I felt like we, you know, it was a chance for us to take it upon ourselves to to make sure they don't to knock them off their horse, uh, if you will. And I think they're they're probably going to be thinking the same thing. So uh, uh, it, it certainly adds something, um, and, and uh, I think it's a good thing. Um, you know, people people sometimes. Uh, get upset when you hear players, coaches or GMs make comments about how they don't like the opponent's field and other things. Um, but but those are real emotions and I think for rivalries you need to have real emotions. Uh, this league is very young and I think at times maybe uh, rivalries were forced where there isn't anything and you can clearly see it but this is definitely one where it's real and it makes for, for, for great, great, uh, great derbies, great events. I think it was the <clears throat> two games after that one where you guys went to Portland and you went behind 4-0 at half. Uh, and the half times from the halftime of that game onward seemed to be kind of where the season really kind of picked up um, or really kind of kicked into gear. Uh, what was said at halftime of that game, and is that something you guys think about at all, uh, that kind of being a turning point? Well, this is so long ago. Um, I mean, at that point, all I remember is uh, pride. Right? You, 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 go, you go down to your rival and uh, you, you're in a hole. Um, already in terms of your the standings and uh, and and uh, the goals you're trying to achieve, and uh, you go down uh, four zero, whatever it was, in a matter of a few minutes, it's uh, um, it's pride. That's what you you have to show at that point. And uh, I think we came out okay, um, got decent response, but 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 still, uh, um, something that can't really happen. Um, the same as we can't go down three zero at home, regardless of who we play against. But uh, um, I think I think so far, uh, you know, the message that we've gotten from 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 our coaches at halftime has always been good. It's been good adjustments. Um, I think we have enough veterans on, on the team to know, uh, you know, what's what's unacceptable. Um, and uh, and and so uh, I don't really recall that being, uh, you know, something that stuck to me. Um, it's just that we had to show some heart and some 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 pride uh, after the first half. Rivalry matches sometimes bring. Uh players to maybe be a little bit over eager, maybe try a little too hard and not be as disciplined defensively. How can you handle that from your point of view, maybe telling the guys to be a little bit more focused? Uh, I wouldn't say that you become too offensive. Maybe you just become a bit uh, too aggressive at times, right? And so that's that's the danger where uh, you still have to keep your emotions in check and then make sure you don't do anything stupid that, that will end up costing your team by getting ejected or, or causing a PK or a silly free kick for that matter. These days uh, set pieces are, are vital, right? So uh, it's more about keeping these emotions in check. Um, it's good to have them, um, but sometimes they can boil over. So uh, I think that's maybe one one aspect is as a goalkeeper, you always have to keep uh, level-headed and clear-headed. So uh, it's maybe one thing that I can try to to, to convey a um, bit of calm um, throughout the team to make sure that we don't uh, shoot ourselves in the foot and, and make it a tougher game. Last one here, we're from Sounders. Uh, Gold Cup is coming up. Uh, have you had any kind of uh, communication with U.S. Soccer? Um, I'm still I'm still in the uh, final stages of, uh, of sorting everything out. So. Uh, 
at this point, um, I mean, I've been in contact with uh, Matt Reese, and um, you know, they're 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 really good guys because uh, I think they keep tabs on you, what you're doing uh, throughout the season, and and, and uh, you know, the results and the performances obviously are important. So uh, that's what I'm trying to focus on, trying to trying to play good uh, with the Sounders, and uh, when I finally do get my citizenship, uh, then uh, then hopefully that will open up some opportunities, and and I can help. That's one. Okay.